Okay. Um, so last time we built a thing that, um, went to Minmus, the ground research station, and, um, now we need to make the, uh, 2.0 variant. Um, you see, this is mainly alright, um, but it has a slight problem. Everything beneath it. <laughs> It's made with old shitty parts because I had, you know, I, I lacked proper space. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, but one of them's missing. And the one that's missing is the weather analyzer, and we're not gonna be landing in an atmosphere, so that's fine. Uh, furthermore, um,. Using all these guys. <laughs> yeah, we're going interplanetary for once. Um, you may be proud, you may be surprised, but um, yeah, we're going interplanetary. Are we actually going to somewhere which it may not be the easiest destination to land on, but it's uh, my personal favorite, basically. I really should uh, set these guys up better. Okay. So that goes there. That goes there. Then, um. Uh, oh yeah. Just move it out a little. Yeah. Okay. So that should mainly be it. Um, however, because of some obvious reasons, we're gonna need a new antenna. You see, I'm pretty sure this one won't do when we're super far away, so I need the largest one. And, um,. Where okay, everything is attached to this part, so I can't remove it. <laughs> okay, so it'll just be uh, like this, I guess. Then, um, let's see over here, we can just add, um, where, where are you hiding? Hello, where are you hiding? It's in structural, ain't it? Somewhere here. But no. I need for once I need yeah, the smaller one. Normally I always need the larger one and the game gives me the smaller one. Now finally once it's the other way around. Okay, please attach onto there. Good. So the transfer stage. Um, we're gonna need a lot of fuel. I don't know, do I want to use modded stuff? Because this guy has a shitload of dollar V, but it's also piss slow. While... Where is it? Uh, something like the good old skip... Not skipper. Eh. The poodle and... Wait, so this will... Yeah, that's gonna be... Quite good Delta V though, um, if I can find it, they redesigned the Poodle engine and now I can't find it anymore. Is that the Poodle? Yes, that's the, so that, hmm, I really do not like how weak these engines are, but, um, oh well. So I guess that can be our interplanetary stage. Cause I mean I mean this is heavy. These guys are empty, so I'm gonna just take them off to improve our situation. Yeah, even without this, that's 26 tons, and now it's 70. Oh boy. And uh, for once, we're gonna have the 
wonders of, um, you know, the uh, fairing. Oh no. Oh no. It is slightly too big. Okay. I'll just... Uh... Okay. So because I can't... Do that, I guess. Where is it? It's over here. Okay, now it fits. Good. Ow. Oh, just barely. Okay. Now, uh. Yeah, clipping this stuff will be worth it in the end. You'll see why. Um, actually, it may be worth it just make it small like this and then slap on a science junior somewhere else. Hmm. Probably not, actually. Uh, so, the moment I move one of these guys, it's over. <laughs> Okay, so that's staying in place. Nope. There we go. Why are you now disconnected? Oh, yeah, because I moved the, the thing back, but not that assembly piece. Okay. So, yeah. Now we can actually start building the uh, rocket itself. I'm actually going to use the uh, advanced... The... ASS system it will be ASS system it is um, a system which allows you to use the fairing with nearly no chance of it erupting in flames you just follow what I'm doing here and um, well essentially you have a really small chance of something going wrong like this And if you're unaware what we if you're uh, unaware what I'm doing, uh, it just why? Okay, I guess you're not having struts then. Regardless, the uh, general idea of this is to um, hold it. So the moment um, this guy should detach and the engine should fire, that will attach as well. And this will keep it stable. It looks really stupid, but you can't argue against a working system. Thankfully. Won't stop a lot of people from trying though. Go into a comment, just go into the comments of well, any video where the creator makes any statement whatsoever about a video game that people enjoy, and uh, passionate people will give their passionate opinions in a very unfiltered way. You would buy anger, probably. Now you can build a really big bottom stage, so what I'll do instead is, um, I'm gonna try to fit a mainsail. That's... ooh. Yeah, you see, that's the issue. We just don't have enough, um, power. What if I do this system? Okay. Oh, well, that low is that, but it, it does give us enough power, so... I mean, I guess it's acceptable. And, um... Hmm. I like 
to make my stuff look, I guess, aesthetically pleasing. So, uh, yeah. And then we can just move these guys a little bit inwards and disable the shroud. There you go. That'll also be a good amount of gimbal. Then to further improve it, just add some struts and trouble salt. Yeah, no, actually, just but like full. Yeah. Okay, now for the big ass bottom stage. Uh, okay. So. This will get it off the ground, and it will also make it, it's gonna be fine, I hope. Now, there is a chance of the, the Kraken striking and all this going horribly wrong really quickly, and uh, I'm banking that that doesn't happen, because if it does, I'll be in a few small massive problems. And, uh, the pilots as well, because, um, I mean, the rocket will be collapsing. Which is not a situation you really want to be in. If you're not aware, you do not want to be in a rocket as it's collapsing. It's not good for your bones. Or for the rest of your body. But mainly your bones, considering how badly you'll get crushed. Uh, so the bottom stage now has way too much... This would probably get me to, like, Elu or somewhere. But, uh, if you run away, we're going to, like, if I didn't make it obvious enough. Why am I so preparing for Ike? Well, it's because, honestly, I'm not sure if I want to go to Ike. We'll see. It's all about, uh, seeing how much, uh, you know, power we have when we, uh, hit orbit. And then we can see where we can go to. Although Ike is really cool, um, I... Some other locations could provide us with a lot better science. There's also places you physically can't land in with this, like Tylo. We could try Val? Or Elu. But Elu's, like, difficult to get to. I would rather kill myself than go to Moho, so I guess... <sighs> I call Val, depending on our fuel situation. Maybe I'm going insane and I... I'm completely misreading how much fuel I have. We'll see when I get into a bit. Regardless, we are... Uh... Lifting off. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing is, if I go to a jewel, then I can arrow... Then I can both arrow break on jewel and use Tylo to sling me around. I'll make a quick save in LKO just in case. Uh... Ooh, that's gonna be bad. Okay. So as we are taking off, you can hear the engines roaring. Honestly, I really prefer this style of recording to the uh, mat, uh, to the good old um, mat lawn style of um, pipe predator stuff, because I can actually. You know, giving actual commentary over what's going on is... It feels a lot more chill. What actually made me want to do this is... There's this guy called, I think, Vals. Uh, sorry for forgetting your name, mate. <laughs> he basically made videos where he just does a simple girl in KSP and he's very chill about it. And I really enjoyed that. It's not as flashy, which is, I guess, why... People like Matt Lown, who are newer than him by a long shot, are more popular than him. But I like his stuff. Because uh, I like the whole chill sphere. You know, we need to return to the age where people made fun of the people screaming at a video game, and they were like, hmm, I rather like watching my people just play through a game while staying calm. If you're wondering why I have not mentioned a Drez or Gilly, it's because I forgot. <laughs> I 
I'm going to introduce some more piloty things. Uh, also, oh god, I've kind of overshot this. Um, I'm going to do some more piloty things later. However, I have got a controller that I'm intending to use because it will probably help with my piloting skills. So look forward to that. I mean, you know, I had the controller for ages. I was just, um... Okay, here's the thing. This is the upper stage. The upper stage has to have a decently high TWR because, uh... It needs to let me circularize. And, uh... Uh-oh. This is like a standard me moment, just overshooting the apoapsis. Uh... About that whole efficiency thing, uh, I'm not very good at it. Uh... Ah. Come on, yeah, good enough. So, all to five, I need to always look down so I don't accidentally hit all to four. Now, this is a uh, maneuver node maker thing. It's really good, because instead of me having to manually calculate, it does it for me. It's essentially transfer window planner, but, um, a lot simpler. Why is that not enabled? Strange. And then you can, like, create a... Okay, okay, okay. Fix body off. Yeah. Okay. Now, with that, uh, we have built a little trajectory. And it's not perfect. By any means. Oh! Shit, I should already be burning. Uh, okay. It's fine, we have more than enough fuel. I'm gonna eat those words later, I am aware. But right now it feels like bad. Sorry, I mean like that we have more than enough fuel. <gasps> okay. Maybe it's, maybe I split that a bit too early. Whoopsies. <laughs> yeah, let's just, um... We do not need guidance. Hold prograde and burn. Funny thing is, this will probably get us real close already. Because Jewel's our target, all we need to do is burn prograde. As long as I don't crash into the moon, I'll be fine. And I won't. Was that... Oh, that was not Jewel. We're nowhere near it. I just see green and immediately... Ah, there we are. I just saw green and I was immediately... Huh? Jewel? But no Jewel for me. And we're leaving the solar system. Uh. Anywho. What? Okay. Can you please, uh. Whoop to there? Uh. This whoop stuff feels slow because it kind of is. So there is our good old mate, Julian. Mostly well known for having a bunch of kids floating around it. And, um... All about that. Okay, I better... Okay. So we want to aim for Tywo. Now, you may be wondering, why aim for Tylo? Well, um... 
Jesus Christ, where are you going? Is there any better way of doing this? Probably. If you're wondering, yeah, we need to start the burn in like a day. Uh Oh. We we almost had it. Ah 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 okay. So as you can see that would catapult us into Elut territory, which is not what we want, that's the opposite. However, because of this um, we can then do a fine adjustment when we're, like, roughly up there, and then we can just do finer and finer adjustments. So, yeah. Come on. Uh, I'll just... Hold it steady. 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 Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. And, uh... Okay. Now, uh... We can warp all the way to the jewel encounter, which is up here. Now that we're here, we have a lot more planning area. Okay. So... We're passing... First, oh, wait, how, how did we hit Lathe by accident? Okay, lol, I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot, I don't remember this one time when I, it, it, so it was my first time entering the Julian system and I entered it the wrong way around. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. EVA report. I forgot to do science. I know some, some of you were probably screaming at me. Conduct materials bay. Observe mystery goo. Sure. Sure. Run experiment. Log pressure data. The data. I don't know. I don't know how people say it. Log temperature. It's all fine. Okay. Uh, well. Any review stored data? Okay. Okay, so now that we've done that, um. <laughs> let's continue. Uh. Wait. What stage were we at? My apologies, I'm used to playing sandbox. <laughs> okay. So we could probably get a jewel high, jewel low, and the lathe high, and the lathe low. We're gonna get so much science. Okay. <clears throat> Run magneto magnetometer scan. Okay. Log. Oh. Then let's just retract. Uh, log. And log. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. True report. And, um, I wonder what do you say? Okay. Sometimes these guys say special things, other times they really just don't. Kinda sad. So we can have a high overlay and low overlay. Uh, which will be the point in time where I will wanna... Hurry up, I guess? Uh, after we're done with that, then I'll get a science kerbal out. Okay, stop. Uh, conduct, observe, honestly we could just do the experiments in space and be fine, <laughs> conduct, okay, no, no, I'm an idiot, uh, log, run, 
log log crew report oh yeah also you should probably just start research and uh, you should EVA EVA report good uh, then are we are we even gonna get low enough to do a What is... Yeah, I think this is for low. Uh... You... Just above Lace Shores. Okay... Please retract. Then, um... Oh god. In space near Lath. Say, ooh. Oh, we're getting so much science. Just space near Lath. Space near Lath. True report. No, wait. You. True report. And, uh, EVA. EVA report. Okay. Are we gonna get any more? Shallows, shallows, new biome. Get out there and tell me what you think. Oh, never mind. Regardless, here's an issue. As we're probably gonna be able to do a low overdue, um. These guys are <laughs> nowhere near completing their stuff. Uh, so I honestly think what I will do... Uh, wait, so wait, do all of these guys have data? Oh, this guy doesn't. Wait, I think I forgot to do this. Ah, it doesn't matter. We have already... I have a jewel. No, that's... we're still high over it. Good. So, what I think I may do is, um... I'm gonna see how many, um... I'm gonna see, basically, what is the minimum amount of solar panels we can open while still being in a, I guess, elliptical, um... Val orbit? If that makes any sense? And, um... Oh god, this orbit's way more inclined than the one previously. Um, I think I may have done a correction burn before that I didn't do this time. Maybe my Kerbal done did something, I don't know. So... If I'm here... And I just... Set a target... Okay. <clears throat> Should probably wait until I get in range. Probably. Okay. Where's Val? Okay. Then, uh, whoop to here. Good. Then, turn retrograde. Um, just, just about capture barely. There we go, good enough. So, now that we're actually going the right way around, I'm pretty sure, sort of, uh, here's my question. I'll just order five, I guess. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna need to turn all these guys on because uh, we have a lot less sun out here. As you can see, yeah. 
So what we what we will be doing is spinning around space for ages. Uh, I guess I'll see you when it's done. Remember to cut, please. What? Oh yeah, I keep losing it because we're so far away from it. Um. And the reason why we need to be so far away from it is so we can get the, like, up high and down low, uh, science stuff. Cause, um, you see, we need to go through our science before we, uh, continue doing our little tasks. So yeah, please transmit. Okay, more science. So much sexy science. You guys don't get how, like, fucking... It feels so good watching your own creation be so cool. Transmit again. And that is all thanks to the, um... Good old, um... Yeah. It just... I keep thinking that we have somehow wandered off, but, uh... We, we physically can't? Okay. So here's my idea. Since we have four of these guys, um, we're gonna get one of the lab boys out. Okay. Well, no. Here's what we're gonna need to do first. Okay. So we just really do this anyway. But we need to get uh, one of these guys out and uh, on a ladder, so that we can then get a lab boy out, so we can. Uh, Patch up some of these guys. Uh, okay. Now, with the actual vessel. Review. Okay. Conduct study. Store. Review. Process. Review. Keep. I think, yeah, I think we're full on science again. Are we? Yeah, basically. Then, review. Yeah, we, we can't store this. This. Okay, so you can be retracted. But then you guys can just kind of, uh... Wait a minute, where's, uh... Blue hatch? Transfer one of the scientists in here. And you... Can, uh, you can just restore these guys. Oh fuck, I just reset one of them. Eh. I don't care. Okay. Oh yeah. Go in there so you can get in. Yeah. So... Now that we're here, Hyperval, uh, observe, okay, so do we, wait, are all full of these used? No, this final one isn't, keep, yeah, keep in mind, we still don't have full, review report, Okay, so then EVA, uh, another crew report, review, 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 log, review. okay, we can log on this one, and hey, I think that's actually mostly it, we just need to uh, shove in one of the big old Magneto men. And we'll be fine. And for most of the time, we have a connection to Kurt, to like uh, Kerbin and our space center. 
normally when you're doing these kinds of missions, um, you may run into an issue where it's a bit difficult to like speed up and slow down time because, oh, you need to wait until you're in range. But, um, you know, th that's not something we have to worry about. Um, well, we are like five years into the mission. Pretty sure that I can, uh, I need to go to X1 so I can transmit. That's stupid. I should be able to transmit while I'm on rails. Um. Anyhow, uh. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait a bit more. Then I'll do, I guess, the, uh, final set. Uh, we'll do it right after we finish. Okay. So, while... Ah. So that means that Kerbin is perfectly being blocked. Transmit now. Okay. So what this means, in layman's terms, is that, uh... Review. Science. Review. I have a lathe. Keep. Review. Oh god. Well, well, well. Um. So, I'm just gonna. Are, are we seriously. Yeah, we're seriously already. Full on data again. So, hmm. Yeah, I think I would like to land uh, somewhere there. So let's go. The reason why I want to land there is because uh, it's. <gasps> It is, you know, the good old combination of big and flat. Now, uh, are we gonna be able to slow down? Um, no, we're not. We're so dead. Maybe. We're so dead. <laughs> uh. We're saved. Maybe. We are we are safe. Whew. <laughs> okay. There it looks decently flat though, so I have guessed. And we have some nice stuff here. Look. Anything can be solved with a bit of stupidity. Uh, well, I have 11 screen messages. Okay. Stop. Start. Start. Stop. Ooh. 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 Okay. So, uh, we're here, you can eviate, so, um, sh shall we do the honors of, um, wait, um, so I want to take his stuff and put it into there for now, then... Take this stuff and put it into his inventory. Okay. 
it, you want to kind of build these close by, because then you can just take parts out and place them immediately. No walking required. Then... Yeah. Cool BBA stuff. You can see he has a banana! And he broke the banana. Wow. Who's as a Ah. Three hundred and sixty science for that one. Okay. Plant flag, as always. And uh, sight. Maybe only with. One E? <laughs> oh yeah, he has no, um... Hold on, I need to get this perfect. <laughs> there we go. There we go. A happy Kerbal, that is a happy life. Whoops. Come on, Yudas, let's walk back. Also, this thing has enough gravity to the point where we... Well, that's the banana we broke. <laughs> Still there. Anyways, um... At five, and, uh... Let's go back to Kerbin and see what's up. What's up is that the game just crashed. Hold on. Oh, maybe? Maybe? No. No, no, it... It's just dead. 14,000 science and we weren't even halfway done. I have to say, I'm quite proud of my Kerbals. They've done a lot. They've gone to hell and back, and uh, they've given me plenty of useful science. With that, uh, we have completed the tech tree and have a shitload of science to spare, and a shitload more science we can get just by waiting a bit more. But well, that'll be it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this small series, and I will see you later when we have some proper fun. Leaving some cargo, SSTO, some other things. Maybe you could even make force me to go to Moho somehow. That'll be fun to see. Because I hate Moho. Understood? Understood. Goodbye. I'll see you.